of Biarritz. President Assisi meets the German Chancellor Angela Merkel on the sidelines of the G7 summit. And Lebanon condemns the Israeli aggression after anti-Hezbollah drone attack. شارك السيد الرئيس في فعاليات قمة الدول السبع بجلسة حول شراكة مجموعة السبع جي 7 وافريقيا. وأعقبها استقبال سيادته المستشارة الألمانية أنجلا ميركل. Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi gave a speech before the G7 summit over counter-terrorism efforts and the women empowerment. Addressing the summit, President Hassisi reiterated that the ties between Africa and the international partners are of potential importance that will help in finding solutions for the African crisis and in confronting the current challenges. As Sisi asserted that the Libyan crisis needs a political will to reach a comprehensive settlement that would end the foreign intervention. The president also stressed the importance of boosting the joint efforts to combat terrorism and to enhance the African development, which is based on integration and coordination with the international partners. Meanwhile, the head of state said that the expected outcomes of the summit cannot be reached without providing suitable environment and funding resources, as well as getting an access to the world markets within the modern technologies. President Abdel Fattah Assisi met with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel on the sidelines of the G7 summit, which is held in the French city of Biarritz. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said that during the meeting, President Assisi expressed the Egyptian appreciation for the positive development in the bilateral relations in various domains of common interest. For her part, Merkel praised the strong ties between the two countries during the past period, especially on the economic and the trade levels, and asserted that Egypt is one of Germany's most important partners in the Middle East. On uh, Saturday on the sidelines of the summit, President Assisi had received at his residency the Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said that the Italian Prime Minister stressed his country's keenness on continuing the consultations with President Assisi regarding the regional developments especially in the Libyan file and combating terrorism. Rodi added that the meeting also tackled means of boosting bilateral ties in the fields of investment and trade in light of the developmental projects currently taking place in Egypt. The two sides discussed the cooperation on the current investigations regarding Giulio Regina's case as President Assisi highlighted the efforts exerted to unfold the case's facts to bring the perpetrators to justice. The visit of uh, President Assisi comes upon an invitation from the French President Emmanuel Macron.
The French president met the German Chancellor Angela Merkel before the official start of the summit. On Friday, Macron threatened to block the European Union trade deal with the several South American states, including Brazil, over the government's handling of the fires burning in the Amazon. Merkel disagreed with the office, saying that blocking the Mercosur deal would not reduce the destruction of the rainforest in Brazil, although she backed Macron's proposal to discuss the fires at the gathering. The G7 leaders back strengthening cooperation with Russia after its expulsion from the group in 2014, but believe it is too early to reintegrate Moscow and return to the G8. Diplomatic sources reported the stance on Sunday as they said the G7 leaders had also mandated the French President Emmanuel Macron to send a message to Iran as tensions rise over the nuclear program. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif said that he held talks with the French President Emmanuel Macron after his surprise visit to the G7 summit to discuss the Iranian nuclear program, saying there was a difficult road ahead.